you've decided uh, to, to call it a day. Was it an easy decision? How did you come to the decision, Steve? Uh, it's never easy, I don't think. I don't think anybody's ever found it easy, but um, obviously everyone knows how I play the game. And after the league game, when he hurt my knee, um, that night I was lying in bed and I, I couldn't lie on my right side because my shoulder was aching from a fracture earlier in the season. Lying on the left, that wasn't good because my ribs were battered from the week before. And then I was lying flat and I've got pillows propping my knee up and stuff. And I just thought then, I, I think I'm done. Um, didn't know if I could, my body could take it anymore. And I, I've played with players in the past who have admitted when they've done it that they've gone on a year too far. Um, I didn't want to do that. I, I, it's just wasn't in me, I didn't want to drag out another year for the sake of it and then maybe people thinking different of me of how I played the game, so um, I think, you know, some of my ex-teammates are telling me I've gone early, but for me I think it's right, I think it's the right time. You'll have plenty of time to reflect on a lovely career, everybody acknowledges that. What about your spells at Widnes then in particular, I mean, what, what are you thinking about those? Well, my first one, I, I can still remember, I remember I remember Terry O'Connor ringing me about it, and I was on. I was playing. I played for Saints against Bradford on a Friday in Super League, and then he rang me on a Saturday morning asking was he interested for the week after, and I was like, "What? Well, well, no, not really. Like, I'm, why would I do that when I'm at, when I'm at St. Helens?" And then I was quickly brought round to the idea that I weren't going to play again for a little while. I needed to go and play some some more adult rugby, and then I came to Widnes, and we my first game here was um, against Salford. I think it was 2008. And there was 10,000 people here. You know, there was parachute, parachuters coming in with uh, the match ball and all kinds of crazy experience, playing Salford top of the league. Uh, I think they were beating us by three scores at half-time and we came back and won. The crowd was just insane, like absolutely insane. I'd not, I'd not experienced anything like it. And I just, like straight away, had a soft spot with Widnes. Mm. I think I finished that season off here. Really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. And then... A couple of years later, I signed back the year before we went into Super League. Again, enjoyed it. Probably, looking back, probably felt a little bit unfortunate that I didn't stay to go into Super League and have a chance at that, but it never really like made me feel any different about the place. So I've, I've just always enjoyed it. And then come back again, uh, a bit of the comeback kid. Come back for the third spell and the last two years have been, even though it's not been the best for results on the field for us. I've, I've just loved every minute of it. I really have, and I can't speak highly enough about the players and my teammates. Final message about the fans you've just mentioned, Steve. You must know what they thought of you on match day when you were playing out there in that shirt. So have you got a message for them? Well, obviously, with my day-to-day -day job, I see a lot of witness fans, and none of them have ever had a go at me or slagged me off or anything, so I think that's a good thing. I think I've got home with a lot of them. Um, like I say, from from minute one, I think I just had a bit of a connection here. Um, they've been brilliant with me. Um, don't think I don't think you can really put it into words. Sometimes it's just I, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it, um, and I hope that they've appreciated that you know I've I've given it me all for uh, for witness.